If you thought yesterday was warm, today mm -hmm. is going to be even hotter. <laughs> oh, yeah, and almost no way to escape this heat, yeah. not yeah, even I at mean, the beach. We're talking about triple digits right across the board. Oh, the no. beach, we could be talking about upper 80s wow. today. And you know that is warm along the coast. So here's a look right now. A little bit of haze outside. We've got a whole lot of sunshine as well. And uh, temperatures are going to continue to skyrocket compared to yesterday. So we're going to stay not only above average, but we could also set some records today as well. So that heat is expected to continue. And tomorrow could even be warmer than today. So looking at our current temperatures, we're in the upper 60s for downtown, 72 degrees for Van Nuys, about 74 degrees for Ontario. This current hour. We do have an excessive heat warning that's in effect for today for uh, many of the uh, high desert communities, also the Inland Empire as well. This will continue right on through about Tuesday, but we could see some temperatures today above that century mark, all the way up to about 110 in some spots. Here's a look at some of the warmest locations today 104 for Pasadena, Woodland Hills, 107. We got a pair of 105s for Santa Clarita, San Bernardino, Lake Elsinore, about 104, and check out Palm Springs, sweltering 100. And 16 degrees today. So we're going to continue to see temperatures climbing throughout the day. Peak heat expected today, right on through your Tuesday. And this could potentially be the warmest June heat wave in a decade. So this is heat that is continuing through the week. So today we're expecting a high in downtown of 97 degrees, well above that seasonal average, sitting into the upper 70s and really close to that record in the triple digits. So we are closing in on those records. High pressure system over the Four Corners region building westward as it does so it's going to continue to bring us heat right on through about Tuesday then by Wednesday we'll start to see temperatures coming down a little bit but look at the high temperatures for today 103 degrees for Fontana for Corona Riverside Lake Elsinore about a degree warmer than that Menifee 105 so really just uh, sweltering temperatures right across the board through the Inland Empire and the suppressive heat expected to continue through some of the valley locations Glendale 105 101 in Whittier and about 106 degrees in Palmdale today. 100 degrees in Simi Valley and it looks like we'll get into the upper 90s for places like Thousand Oaks. 107 in Northridge in San Fernando. These are temperatures that you certainly have to keep in mind of. Make those, uh, take those pets inside, uh, use that sunscreen and bring that water with you pretty much wherever you go. You're certainly going to need it today. Here's a look at the extended uh, forecast. Lots of sunshine mixed with those warmer temperatures. We're going to get into the uh, well into the triple digits for the valleys. It's going to continue into Monday. In fact, we could even see temperatures warming into your Monday. And Tuesday is going to be another hot day as well uh, for the metro area 90s. But we could actually hit the century mark tomorrow in places like downtown Los Angeles. And the beaches could actually reach the 90s tomorrow. It's really not until we hit about midweek that we'll start to see temperatures come down a little bit. And that cooling trend will continue through the end of the week. Looking at your Inland Empire temperatures, triple digits today, tomorrow, and the high desert communities are going to hold on to triple digits right on through about Wednesday, Thursday. We're still going to see triple digits. And by the end of the week, we're still sitting into the upper 90s for the mountain communities also hot temperatures into the upper 80s today. So upper 80s for the high country, upper 80s along the coast. Not many places you can go to escape this heat. Back to you.